stream on my game two on the Western Conference Finals on the Canucks and the Blues Blues. Before I start my live stream all across North America, subscribe if you need to subscribe, push the bell, push the notifications, and push that massive like. Let's start. But my fans 69 or my other great fans out there, you can come and join my live stream if you're free. I know you guys are busy doing your homework. I know school is almost finished. You guys, uh, you guys, last month is in June. Because happy about that. Start with the classics. Welcome back, everyone, to EA Sports, continuing coverage of the playoff series. Game number two in store for you tonight. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Big save in front. Oh, and another save. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Puck clears the zone, and they'll be forced to regroup. And there's a great save by Bennington. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Slides that one right across the blue line. Answer the call on that play. And he slides it quickly to Myers. The pressure's unbelievable on the defensive team here. They just want to get it and shoot it down the ice, relieve it if they can. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Shen's won it off the faceoff. Passes the puck over to Tarasenko. Unable to reach that one. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. From the left side, they gain the zone. And he takes a shot. Scores! Wow! I think there might be smoke coming from the back of the net after that one-timer. This is a terrific shot. He beats the goaltender, but the goalie gets a chunk of it. Not enough. He can't slow it up. Vancouver's on the board here, and they've got the home crowd right into it early. Aggressively out of the gate. They didn't give the opponent any time to get settled at all. I love their start. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Quick pass to Tarasenko. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Hughes explores his options behind the net. Across the point. That's his second. Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they've moved the puck, and finally they're rewarded again. He's got a both. A 
quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Vancouver's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Across the line and on the attack. Denies him on the play. The Canucks have the puck in the corner. From one point man to another. Made that stop. Tough enough to make the save unless you can see it. He's got to fight his way and find the puck. From in close. Stops him again. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Vancouver's got him along the wall. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Looks to get the puck over to Perron. They go on the attack through center. Cutting to the front of the net. Comes up with the stop. Here he is in front. Moves it quickly over to Besser. That's not going to fool him. Taken along the wall by Edmund Larson. Vancouver's got the puck in the corner. Here's a blast! Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. From the opposite point. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Here's a short pass to Crew. Takes a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. And now he moves it quickly to Messer. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Puts him on that. Just wide. Picked up along the boards by Hamannick. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. And he's able to handle that one. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Please the puck. In the final moments of this period, we've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Sunfist won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Slides the puck across to Saad. And he feeds it down to Sanford. And puts the body into it a little bumper car hockey. The Canucks take it across the line. From center they get into the attacking area. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Blues moving ahead, trying to engage a little physicality here. Sanford's got it along the boards. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Can't connect on the pass. And there's the whistle icing the call. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from the drop. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish here at the range with us. Get off frozen lemonade. Okay, so end of the first period, Canucks are up two nothing over the Blues. Let's start doing the second period. Clean sheet of ice. Period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? St. Louis prides themselves in being a possession team. Well, they haven't had it very much tonight. They trail on the scoreboard, and they're going to have to be much better. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. And it's a 2-0 hockey game. Shen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. Great poke check on the reach. Pedersen's carrying it ahead. St. Louis gets a hold of it. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. 
Has some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. Angles it over to Shen. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, 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 he got absolutely walloped on that one. Did he ever? I mean, he didn't have his head up, and the player ran right over top of him. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it up to Besser. Oh, boy, here's trouble. Two on one. And that's intercepted by Falk. Quick feed to Kairou. Can't get it to go. Tries to the crease. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Demko's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Perron's picking up steam. Vancouver's got the puck. The Canucks have it now. And the officials waving off icing here. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Takes a slap shot from the point, and he stands tall in goal. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And that's offside, stopping the play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Canucks are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And that's picked off by Sanford. And he regains control of the puck. Moves it to Sundquist. Folks got it on the offensive end. Man, he got hit. You better move the puck quickly, or you become a target. With possession along the wall. Puck set across the blue line. Whoops. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. And that's just out of reach. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Myers doesn't go into a game now thinking he's not going to get on the board. He's on a point streak. He thinks he's scoring every night. More than half the period has expired. Vancouver's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Oh, he digs in and wins the draw there. Now they can get out of the zone. Drives to the sweet spot. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Can't get it to go. Picked up along the wall by McEwen. Here's a shot. Turns it aside with a glove. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Canucks lead this one to zip. Puck picked up by Pareko. Quick pass to Bushnevich. Nice zone entry from the left. The Blues gain possession. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends it quickly for McEwen. Couldn't complete the pass. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Yolevi. Quick pass to Sutter. Oh, rocks him like a hurricane. And look out. Get your head up, man. Tries to the paint. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Demko. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Gains the zone from the right. Here he is, wrists it on net. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Still, Canucks 2, Blues, Blues, nothing. That's hard during the third period. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. 
He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. Here we go. Put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Blues are in the position they deserve right now, James. They're behind in the game. They haven't had the puck much. They're running around trying to get it back. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Vancouver's got a 2-0 lead. Let's it rip! Scores! Eventually, the puck finally goes in the net. They've been working at this all night. Finally, in the late stages, they get one. St. Louis is right back into this one, Ray. They never really gave up here, James. I've liked the way that they pushed even down, too. Now they've got a little momentum. Puck grab by Pareko. There's another for the hit parade. Hughes takes it along the wing. Two on one. Oh, and he whiffs. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he easily stops that one. Takes the feed. Denies him again. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. St. Louis wins the draw. Vancouver's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Myers plays the puck. Gets it to the other point. Picked off. Through center along the wing. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Feeds the puck up to Horvath. Takes the feed. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Here's a short pass to Bushnevich. Gets the puck in deep. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds it on over to Garland. Picked off in the offensive end. Great save from in tight. Garland's got the puck along the wing. They've got numbers. Along the half wall with the puck. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Thomas. Quick feed to Garland. From the place 99 made famous. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. something happen along the boards the Canucks play it near the point and serves up a little knock on the play really Bennington's gonna cover it up he's been busy tonight Ray and been good a lot of times you get busy and worn down I think that's why you jump on it freeze it in a close game still lots of time left in the period it's 2-1 the Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end St. Louis with possession in their own zone. The Blues have it from their own end. Moves it to Perron. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Hamannick. Takes it to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Slides the puck across to Cairo. The Canucks gain control of the puck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. These games used to drive me crazy. As somebody that was supposed to score, there'd be chances all over the place. You'll wait for one goal or two goals that crack the game open. They never seem to come. The chances are there. The production is not. Slides into Perron. Pumps it away in his own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Right on the doorstep. Scores! Quick blast. No chance. And no way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Here in the late goings of the period, Vancouver's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Canucks win possession here in the open ice. Quick pass to Pullman. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Grabbed along the boards by McEwen. 
strong use of the body. And now it's grabbed by Sanford. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Canucks have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to McEwen. Vancouver's on the attack. Wrist shot from the slot. Denies the shooter on that play. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Takes a hit on the play. The Blues have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Blues win it. Under a minute to go in the third. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Extra attacker at one end, but an empty net at the other as his face-off looms. Yeah, you draw the play up, you look for the face-off win for a quick shot. Here's a shot, and that's broken up. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Chance at an empty netter here. Tucks it in to the empty net. Well, that should pretty well wrap it up. Another cushion onto the lead. won the draw here in the open ice. Scandella's got it along the way. That's turned away with the pad. Brings the no, ball close. The Taken by Besser. Passes on over to Pedersen. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Here's a short pass to Bushnevich. St. Louis plays it against the boards. And he makes the save. Feeds the puck over to Miller. Here's a chance. Score! No! 1.0 no. left. The man advantage break is sprung here, and they execute it perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. And that'll do it for right side here. Now down 2-0. Time to hit the panic button in your mind yet? Oh, you're getting there. You're down 2. There's not much room for any air left. They had the air pushed out of them tonight. Man, no, there's the shit. It's a forward concept to think that players like the Rocket or Mr. Hockey would have done this way back when. No, they wouldn't have done this. Matt, look, first. Cordia Hell. Now things have changed and this is what you should do. Another reason why we love playoff hockey for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Good night. I believe Porter Howe was it with the Sutler's Blues in the 70s before, reti before he uh, retired. I believe. I think his brother was with the uh Don't hit me for this, but I think it was from the, with the Railers, I believe. Before the before they turned into the Carolina Hurricanes. That's it for game two. <sighs> Straight into June. Look at that, Flyers up to nothing over the Tampa. Finally.
get out of this. So before I get out of this, out of the calendar, I believe, maybe I believe, when I take a, uh, uh, when I take a break on my channel for two days, well, you guys are going to know it when I upload on Monday. Because on Monday, I'm, well, Sunday I'm doing the video, but Monday be uploaded be a vlog 97 on my little break for two days for, for two day break after, after my two week grind on my channel this is the little sti uh, how do you call it no um snippet no snippet on that this little snippet of the vlog 97 we uploaded on Monday. So done before you guys commented I uh, love your support. So side of the side of that, let's get into the uh, stats. Before I do the stats, so game three will be on Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Because usually, when it's a central team on the, on the road, it's usually at 5.30. Because on Thursday, I work, I'm off at, I'm off at uh, 6.30. It'll be a late game at 8.30 p.m. You guys will be finishing your homeworks, etc. So yeah, Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Let's get into this, uh, ah, I can't talk right. Let's get into the stats. Get out of this. So Tyler Myers with a goal, with three goals, 11 assists, and 14 points on a point streak right now. Justin Miller shot, shot the puck to uh, ben, Bennington, Bennington, goalie of the Blues, on the rebound, and Elias Peterson got the goal and at 1.0 seconds left into the game. Travis Harmonak, not Harmonak, Harmonak, a couple of chances and then that. Quinn Hughes with a couple with two goals, uh, two goals, six assists and eight points. Elias Pe Elias Pe Elias Pedersen with seven goals, seven points. Connor Garland with two goals of the night, with three goals in total, four assists, and seven points. Levy, that's not so much. Tanner Pearson with a goal. With six goals and six points, <laughs> Oliver Elkman Larson, couple of chances. Mark Messer, couple couple of chances into the uh, net. Plumman, not so much. Baton, not so much. Sutter, got a hit. But that's not so much. Not so much. Set so McEwen, he had a couple of chances in on that. Nothing happened. Tyler Mott, I can't believe he's gone with the Canucks, but I got all my game. We should never trade him. Justin, da Justin Dowling. But the goal in the first period or the beginning of the game. 
And that's it for the uh, stats. And no one came to watch my video. That's fine. But then you guys, then you guys are busy. Do your stuff. Doing your stuff. You guys are seeing me going live at 8:30. You guys are gonna be finishing your home, finishing your homeworks stuff. And we're up two nothing in the series over the Blues in the series, and also the Flyers are up two nothing in the series against Tampa. Finally, if Philly wins against the Flyers in Philadelphia, Flyers. For the first time I'm, play, I'm playing against those guys, that'll be the, on the Halloween jersey for the Stanley Cup Finals in mid-June. So that's it for the uh, video. My final thoughts all across North America. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe. Push the bell. Push the notifications. And... Push that massive like. Love on prosper and peace out. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, the video the video will be uploaded tomorrow around 12:30, one ish, ish, middle. But in the next live stream. You guys will see me on Thursday at 8.30 p.m. But for now, peace out.